Hey everybody, Wayne's Workshop here, and in this week's video, it's going to be another video on extracting game models, but this week it's uh, League of Legends. So, to extract models from League of Legends, you'll need these following files. Uh, one is Wuxi. Uh, this is used to uh, open up League of Legends and uh, grant you access to all the files. This is uh, another plugin uh, called lol 2 uh, day or DA. It's a file extension used by Blender because the base um, 3D models from League will not load into Blender. And Wuxi is no longer supported by League because League changed some stuff. So there are these uh, three old uh, League of Legends system files that uh, I will upload and I'll leave a link down below in the comments where you can find these. But Wuxi needs these. So uh, I don't know if League um, still allows the use of uh, Wuxi. There's been some changes in third party software. So the best thing you could do is uh, copy your uh, game folder to uh, another directory and make your edits into that and extract those models instead of your um, folder that you actually use to log into the game. So up first, install League, update it, everything. Uh, then install Wuxi. You don't even need to install it, you just uh, extract it and run it. And it will give you this screen and it will ask you to select a folder. Uh, I just told you about those system files, I'll show you uh, what it says if you don't load those system files. So we'll just go to the folder where I installed League and this is my Riot folder and I press OK and there you have it. The folder you have selected is not correct, you have to select the folder that contains LOL Launcher EXE or LOL Launcher Admin.exe. Uh, Wuxi is no longer supported by it because it's some people were using it for cheating and uploading their skins or whatever. I don't know the details, they are no longer supported. But there's still a way to go around it, and we want to extract the skins so we can build cosplays off of them. So let's do this. Uh, he wants the old uh, League of Legends launcher files, so we'll, we will go back to the lol system files I'm providing. These are actually my own uh, old <laughs> launcher files because I still had a really old installation of it. So these top two ones, the lol launcher admin and the lol launcher exe, you copy these and then you go to your league install folder and you dump them straight into here. And there's one more file this is the system.cfg and it goes into the rads and then system folder. You can see the icon here and in the system.cfg if you open it with notepad you have to list your region here and for me that's EU West. If you're in the North America regions it's I believe NA whatever it's all on the League of Legends side so your region goes there otherwise it will not work. All right now I've placed those three, three files in my um, League of Legends folder. Now we're going to go back to Wuxi. Select folder again. Computer H and Riot. OK. Save options and start Wuxi. And now it's going to load everything from League of Legends into Wuxi and we'll just wait for it to load and we'll continue. This can take uh, a while, so, you know, grab yourself a drink and... <sighs> grab some drink. Alright, we're done. It's loaded everything. <clears throat> now to extract the skins and, if you want, the textures also. We go to Creation Studios. File Extractor. And then filter and filter by type and we want the DDS textures and the SKN SKL model files and then click on choices made and it will filter everything uh, now we only have this folder and that's the folder we want so we open that we go to data go to characters and here are all the characters we want and for this video, I'm going to use uh, the headhunter Caitlyn that me and my girlfriend built as an example. So we'll go to Caitlyn and then skins 
and league doesn't go by name they go by number so if you want a certain skin you have to find out what uh, around what time or what number it got released on and extract it through there or you just take them all and load them in blender and see which one it was for me I know it's six uh, skin number six so you see the SKL the SKN and two DDS files now we only need the SKN file the skin file and this skin 06 txcm.dds and that's the texture so we select these click on extract uh, you can extract them to every folder you want I'll just uh, use this uh, default folder where uh, my wuxi was extracted and hit extract and it's complete it's instant sunrise my camera battery just died so I had to charge it so it is technically the next day uh, moving on we just extracted the headhunter Caitlyn skin from League of Legends you no longer need Wuxi so you can just close that uh, the next step is starting up lol today you run it and here you have to load the file we just extracted, the, the SKN file, the mesh file that he's asking for. So we hit that button for browsing, and this is the one we just extracted. Double click, and the output file you can, by default, it selects the file where the skin file is at. You can include the skeleton, uh, but we only need the uh, well, 3D models for our cosplay, so we don't need the skeleton. You hit convert, and that's done. And then you fire up the old blender. Remove those standard files, and then file import these are basically the same steps as uh in my other video the heroes of the storm uh, extraction video and this is the day so we import a day file and go to here you can see the convert we made the scan file into the dae file and we load that one and there we have the headhunter caitlin model you can export this one directly to an OBJ and load that into Pepakura. Um, I did that at first, but it's kind of annoying if you need like only the arm or just a gun and then you have the whole uh, model to it. Um, you can edit this in Blender to separate these from each other and save it to separate files. Uh, I covered that in the Heroes of the Storm extraction video already, so be sure to check that out if you don't know how to handle uh, the basic stuff of Blender. But for now, uh, let's just export this one to an OBJ and then load it into Papakura. So file, export to OBJ, and then we'll just... Uh, 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 we'll go to my tutorial folder, little edition. Headhunter Kate, boom. Extract OBJ. Now we go to, there we go, headhuntercaitlin.obj, and then open it in Pepakura. And there we go, we have the Headhunter Caitlin file. Now the DDS file we extracted, that's the texture file. Uh, Pepakura doesn't no DDS so what you have to do is go to any online image converter and just you can go to Google and type in DDS to JPEG converter and you load that DDS and hit go and then you can convert it to a JPEG like this and then from Pepakura you can go to settings texture settings specify texture image and then browse to the folder where you saved it tutorials a little edition and there we have Caitlyn skin 06 txcm you load it in you can see it right here hit close and there we go you can see the texture and this will help you with some uh, with some detailing and all of that stuff from here if you don't know how to use Pepakura I've made a new playlist entailing all of my uh, 3d basic 3d modeling 
from game models and unfolding it into Pepakura and how to use that on your cosplay, how to, how to use Pepakura to build foam armor. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, like I said before, if you want to know how to separate the gun from the rest of the model, I have that covered in the Heroes of the Storm model extraction video. So you can learn some really simple basics uh, in Blender to make your uh, unfolding and modeling and building a little bit more easy. Me and my girlfriend actually built this costume, and you can see that right there. And we used these exact methods that I'm just showing you right here. Uh, my girlfriend actually had no experience yet in uh, using foam for armor, and she did an awesome job. And you can do this on every League of Legends character you want. You can, you just saw it. Just extract your game models, and if uh, and if you've never used this method before, you know, extract something and just do a shield or or a, a simple prop. You know, get comfortable with it and see where it takes you. And that's how you can convert every League of Legends uh, 3D model out of the game and load it into Blender and then export it for a format that's supported uh, by Papakura. League of Legends uh, does its detailing on its armor all in the textures. I have a separate video which you can see right there on how to layer your foam. That's what we did for my girlfriend's armor also layer uh, your foam so be sure to check out that video at the end of the video i will link the uh, previous game model extraction on the uh, heroes of the storm one and at the end of that video i explain all the basics on blender i might do an overwatch extraction overwatch model extraction video also that one is a little bit trickier and you have to use a command prompt and all that stuff so uh, i have to see if i can make it a little bit more easy but it's also possible for overwatch watch I have some of those models so be sure to look out for that one be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to get notified on future videos and thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video